All right, you guys, how's it going? So uh, today in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the benefits of running Archoil uh, AR6200, the fuel modification complex or fuel catalyst, combustion catalyst in a vehicle that requires premium fuel. Uh, this will go from anything from a German car, boats, uh, Corvettes, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so this is my dad's 2008 Mercedes C350. It's got the uh, three and a half liter V6. Wonderful engine. Uh, you know, makes gobs of torque for its size, and uh, it's just an effortless powertrain. But um, I saw the great success that I had in my truck with uh, AR6200, and I wanted to see how it would do in this car, his uh, Mercedes, as well as uh, my stepmom's Kia Hyundai, or, uh, Hyundai uh, Tucson. But uh, the one vehicle we really saw with great benefits was uh, with uh, this Mercedes. And so <clears throat> um, he's been running this uh, 6200 in here after I put it in for about three or four days now. And, uh, you know, with this thing out on the highway doing 65, 70 miles an hour, he was getting, you know, on average about 25, 26 miles a gallon. Well, I took this thing out today to go to the car wash and I reset the... Uh, the mpg calculator on this thing now it's jumped up to almost 34 miles a gallon and it's uh <laughs> you know i'm not making this up but uh the uh the low end torque seems to have improved as well and the biggest thing is before you would see a bunch of carbon inside of here inside of his tailpipes and on the edges here just like my truck and uh you know, before I put the 6200 in there, I went ahead and cleaned them off. I didn't polish them or anything. I just cleaned the carbon out. And actually, I just used, you know, basically Windex just to get all the dust off of there and everything else. And as you can see, it is still just nice and clean in here. And there's a little bit, but I'm sure that can come out with, uh, you know, there's nothing on my thumb or anything, but I'm sure that can come out with some polishing. But, uh, and also, you can also hear the fuel pump just every time you, you know, because what I like to do is I like to just turn the turn the accessory on first for about five seconds to let the fuel pump build up pressure and then start it but uh yeah it's this car has benefited dr uh, drastically with it and the biggest problem with modern fuels and premium you know requiring premium you know 91 93 octane fuel is that you're sometimes getting detonation because of the high compression ratio and the benefit with the 6200 is that it stabilizes the fuel and lowers the ignition point by 400 degrees so you get a more complete fuel burn and uh it also cleans out the uh the fuel injectors fu uh, fuel pump fuel tank fuel lines everything anything to do with the fuel system it cleans it and uh, lubricates everything else i mean it's just it's a fantastic fantastic product and uh i'll be putting a link down on amazon because i buy all my arch oil stuff from amazon because it's just cheaper and uh you know all my address and credit card information is already saved in there but uh yeah, it's it's amazing. You know, he went up to uh, he made a really long drive up to Santa Barbara, just to uh, have a nice drive for the weekend and you know go up to the shops and whatnot. And he didn't even burn half a tank, so it's uh, it's obviously working in this. And also, I'll be putting a link to uh, one of uh, Bill Hewitt's videos, uh, the effects of uh, arch oil in his boat. You know, because he has an LS1 in there, and uh, he said just dramatic difference between uh, just standard 93 octane and 93 octane with 6200. So if you want to check that one out for a more dramatic, you know, uh, excuse me, uh, for a more dramatic result of uh, 6200. So you know, this stuff is this stuff is no joke. You know, it's it's a it's a really good uh, additive that you can put in your truck, yeah, it's, or your vehicle. It's a little bit expensive, but it pays for itself. And, you know, jumping from the mileage he was getting, 25, 26, up to the mid, uh, the mid to high 33s and 34s, it pays for itself in no time, you know. I mean, that's why I still get 27, 28 miles a gallon in my truck, you know. It's, uh, and it's lifted with heavier and bigger wheels and tires and all the other doodads that I put on that thing, you know. It's just... You would think it would really drastically de uh, decrease the mileage, but it's working, and you know you can see how clean my tailpipe is here. And since I've I've been using 6200 for seven months now, and uh, I haven't had to polish my exhaust tip or anything. You know, it's it's great stuff. So nothing but great stuff to say about that. And like I said, um, you know he's got about 5,000 miles left on this oil, and uh, I'm gonna try the 9100 friction modifier in this as well. And um, I also just put it in here, the 6200 in the uh, in the Hyundai here, 
And the biggest reason why I did it is because her car is direct injected. And uh, if you've heard any problems with direct injected engines, especially boosted engines, this one isn't. But uh, you'll actually get carbon buildup on your on your intake and exhaust valves, especially your exhaust valves, because uh, that's where all the sp the spent combustion gases are going through. And eventually, over time, there'll be just enough carbon built up on the on the uh, on the lip of the valve to where it doesn't close all the way anymore. Thusly, you get a loss of compression and loss of power, and decreased fuel economy. So then you need to go in and do an induction service, which is just more money in time. So you know it's it's better just to prevent it now. And uh, I run it every single tank, and you know I've had uh, I've had my bottle for almost seven months now, and it's still halfway full. You know so. And that's after putting it in this every time I fill up, which is once a week, and putting it in this now, and this now, and my, you know, our company trucks, and my friend's vehicle. So it, it lasts a long time. You know, it's it's only, uh, it's like six milliliters to fill this up with uh, fuel. Same thing with that, because it's the same size gas tank. Same with that. You know, the biggest one is our company trucks, since they have 38-gallon uh, gas tanks. But, uh, yeah, the stuff is fantastic. Actually, I'll probably... Uh, probably start this thing up and let you guys listen to it and just how good the fuel pump sounds and the way that the uh, the exhaust sounds now it sounds much more throaty now and I think that just attributes to uh, the better combustion process so I'll set you guys down really quick and let you guys listen to how much better this thing actually runs now So, yeah, she's sounding really, really good now. And, uh, you know, before you couldn't even hear the uh, the fuel pump uh, turning on and priming the system because it was, I'm not going to say it was gummed up because it still was working, but it was a lot quieter than it was before. So now all those components inside the fuel pump are free and able to turn at peak efficiency. So, you know, this thing's, this thing's almost paid for. And so my dad's plan, uh, which if you want to see really cool uh, guitar videos and, you know, play-alongs, all that stuff, check him out here on YouTube. His uh, username is Pyoxen. And uh, so if you like Rush and Five Finger Death Punch and stuff, he's great guitar videos. So check him out. This is his car. Um, but, uh, you know, this thing's almost paid for. So eventually, you know, he's looking at possibly buying an F-150 or whatever he's going to buy. You know, this is going to become his like Saturday, Sunday, you know, leisure car, and because uh, this is an 08 and it's almost got a hundred thousand on it, and uh, <laughs> out of warranty, and you know, everybody knows that Mercedes are uh, they can be money pits if you don't take care of them, and uh, especially while they're out of warranty. So, um, you know, this is this is going to be his uh, leisure car, and I was telling him that running 6200 in here is going to keep his fuel volatile for up to a year. You know, so if he doesn't drive it a lot. The fuel's still going to be good, you know, and so I'm looking at going in the Air Force soon, and, you know, I'm going to be gone for up to a year, you know, three months alone for basic, and then the tech school that I'm looking at doing, you know, because I'm, looks like I'm going to get slotted for aircraft maintenance, you know, that tech school alone is another three and a half to four months, you know, so that's almost a year, so I want to make sure that I have arch oil in here, you know, which I already do. You know, because this truck's just going to be sitting here. Of course, I'm going to ask my dad to start it up and run it for a little bit, you know, every few weeks just to keep everything moving. <clears throat> but I want that reassurance that I'm not going to get gummed up fuel because fuel nowadays, you know, it goes bad in as little as five to six months. So, yeah, so, you know, not trying to ramble or anything else, but, um, yeah, this, I can't say enough good things about Arch Oil. You know, I've got, I've got it in my oil, my fuel, my bearings, everything, and... This thing just glides, and my transmission now too. And I mean, this thing just glides down the road, you know. I mean, even if, even this thing empty, uh, this thing just glides like a Cadillac. And especially if you put a little bit of weight in the bed, and oh man, this thing feels like it's just riding on a marshmallow. So, but uh, the fuel economy is great and everything. I, it's, it's a miracle worker, plain and simple. I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt when you first buy it because the stuff's expensive, you know. If you want the best stuff, it's going to, 
it's going to be a little bit pricey, but uh, you know, my two top picks for arch oil is their 9100 and 6200 uh, combustion catalyst. And especially, you know, if you live out here in California, they're putting them in like a minimum of 10% ethanol in here. So if you have an older car, that stuff will eat up your fuel pump, your carburetor, fuel lines, everything, you know. So you want to uh, keep your components and everything else in your vehicle working as long and as uh, efficient as possible, not to mention generation equipment. So, but uh, I'm not being sponsored or endorsed by Arch Hall in any way. This is just my personal opinion of my experience with uh, their outstanding products. So, and, uh, you know, I have a video here on this grease. This is their grease right here. This tube is like $47, I think. And uh, like I said, I put it in my bearings. I also put it in my ratchets that I bought from Harbor Freight, and they're almost dead silent now. Um, still not a single problem with those. So, uh, And then this is what the... Uh, my 6200 is locked up in my toolbox right now, and I don't have, I have, ah, I don't have my keys on me. But uh, this is what their 9100 looks like. And this is in... Is this a 16 ounce? Yeah, this is a 16 ounce bottle for about 50 bucks. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'll pop my hood and show you guys the oil, which he's only got 5,000 miles on his. And uh, you know, he's running 0 to be 40 Mobile One synthetic. I'm running 5 to be 20 Pennzoil Ultra Platinum with the uh, Pure Plus technology, that uh, natural gas oil, with the 9100. And I'll show you with 10,000 miles on this what this oil looks like. So I'm betting I can probably get another 5,000 miles out of my oil thanks to 9100. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you that really quick too. All right, so now we're going to hop underneath the hood here. And I'll show you what 10,000 mile oil looks like with 9100 in it. And I'm thinking about sending this oil out to Blackstone uh, just to see if I really need to change it even at 15,000. But you can see what it looks like. It's not even black yet. It's, it's a nice dark caramel color. And this is exactly what my dad's oil looks like with only 5,000. And his holds double the capacity. His is 8.5 quarts, and mine is 4. So, and, uh, yeah, this stuff just extends the oil life. It's amazing. But the big thing, you know, I honestly, I can care less if it, uh, you know, for my reason of using this, I can care less if it uh, extends the oil life. What I love about this stuff is it's a solid boundary lubricant, meaning it creates a film just like every other oil but your oil becomes the carrier for the product uh, for 9100 to go to all the mating surfaces of your engine so it creates a very very hard uh, thin layer of uh, basically boron in between all of your you know main and rod bearings uh, the piston sidewalls for your piston rings to go up and down it, it just it, it puts that protective layer against every single metal mating surface of your engine so I know I, I don't rub the shit out of this thing or anything you know this thing barely sees over 3,000 rpm anyway because it's always on the highway but I know that there's not going to be any sort of lubrication failure because I have the 9100 in here which if you own a super duty especially a 6 liter or 6.4 and you're not using this, I would highly recommend using it, especially if you live up in the northern climates, you know, because of the stiction problems. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and key the fuel pump and start this as well, just to let you listen if you have a Ranger. And you'll be able to hear the difference between, uh, you know, your truck, if you're not using our oil already, um, and my truck, when uh, I've been using this stuff for seven months, and just, just listen to how strong the fuel pump turns and as well as uh the startup on this thing it's 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 crazy so i'll set you guys down and have you uh have you guys listen to this one so here's the fuel pump we'll do it again yeah strong that sounds it's, it's i love it uh, and now I'm going to put you guys by the exhaust I don't know if I can leave you guys up here like this or not but, eh, it's, it's mostly about listening anyway so but yeah this is the exhaust after the startup
and the other thing I noticed too is um, you know my buddy at school he has a little bit older uh, GMC it doesn't have anywhere near the emissions controls that this thing does but I notice even if this thing is ice cold and it's running really really rich I can put my hand right here and smell it and I can even just smell it coming out of the exhaust pipe you cannot smell any fumes coming out of this thing and you know I'm still running the stock O2 sensors the only thing I really done is just clean my mass airflow sensor and that's it you know and the throttle response on this thing has gone up drastically uh, both from the mass airflow sensor but also running the 6200 and now if I'm in second gear or something like that and I'm still pretty low on the RPMs I actually get pushed back in my seat so and even arch oil claims that you'll pick up uh, better torque uh, numbers as well just by using uh, the 6200 and I can also probably attribute that to the really really low friction rate of the 9100 so I mean this thing this thing kind of picks up you know it's and my foot didn't even go halfway down on the pedal now so I mean if it's all highway now I can easily get almost 500 miles out of a 15 gallon tank it's it's ridiculous you know so I have nothing but good things to say about Arch Oil. Uh, fairly soon I'm also going to be doing a power steering flush and uh, putting the uh, 9100 friction modifier in my steering as well. Um, I've heard of great things of uh, people only having to use one finger to, uh, to steer their, their, uh, their wheels now after switching to uh, 9100. So, and I mean it's just a little dabble do you on that stuff, but uh, so you know, like I said, I'm not I'm not a spokesperson or a salesman for Arch Oil. I'm, this is just you know I'm not I'm not being endorsed by them. I've spent all my own money on their products, and this is just I want to I want to spread the information to you guys and how you can have your equipment last as long as possible, just like mine. You know, because my goal is to get at least 500,000 miles out of this powertrain before something breaks, so or wears out something. And uh, you know, this is an 07. 2.3 liter four cylinder which is already a pretty robust engine doesn't make much on power but it's extremely reliable and it's extremely easy to rebuild if you need to but uh, yeah this truck has how many miles does this thing have on it so because this thing's always on the road whether it's for school work leisure vacation so it's an 07 and I've got 167,347 miles on it so yeah, she's she's been work hard most of her life, but you know it's my truck's always hanging around just over two grand on the highway for more you know for roughly three sometimes four hundred miles a week and uh, yeah and this truck I, I I adore this truck which is why I'm spending the extra money to uh, to keep it on the road as long as I possibly can and to ensure that all the mechanical parts are gonna work as long and as efficient as possible so. Um, yeah, so fairly soon uh, for all you Ranger owners that are, you know, kind of worried that I'm not going to be doing any more videos on this. Um, I do have a big order that I'm looking at placing soon, almost $600 in parts and everything else for a lot of maintenance videos on this. So, you know, I know I haven't been putting much uh, maintenance videos out lately, but uh, those will be soon to come. But uh, that's a separate side note. And um, so, yeah, you know, this... Arch oil products, you know, it's 100%, you know, you, they've got my vote. So if you're not running it in your truck, I would highly suggest that you do. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm making you or that you absolutely positively have to, you know, you, everybody's got their own products that they like to stick with, whether it's, you know, nothing at all as far as additives are concerned. I mean, from longest time, my dad was like, no, modern oil is good. Modern fuel is perfect, you know, and then I started showing him everything that's, you know, not perfect with the modern system. Because, truth be told, today's lubrication is just not keeping up with the engines that they're producing. That's why you're seeing uh, really early you know, turbo failures and stuff like that in the 6.7. And for all you Ford haters, it's not just because it's a Ford. <laughs> I don't want to get anything stirred up or riled up here on YouTube. So, Because, as most of you know, I am a Ford guy. So, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, in my opinion, it's it's fairly cheap insurance to make sure that your vehicle is going to run as long as possible and uh, as, as efficiently as possible too so which is why I get such good mileage out of this truck you know so uh, yeah so comments questions leave them down below feeling generous hit that like button and uh, as always thanks for watching guys and like I said 
I'll be putting links down below to everything that I use as far as our toilet products down below in the description box and uh, also one of Bill Hewitt's videos from PowerStrokeHelp.com. He's got a lot of arch oil products on there, and uh, or product videos, I should say, about how this stuff works in you know industrial and diesel applications, as well as that one boat video I'm going to put in the link uh, in the description box. So, if you're interested in arch oil but you're still kind of skeptical, watch his videos, and uh, yeah, I mean, just take it from me. You know, this truck has so many miles on it, and I've never had a you know the only thing I've had to do to the engine is just replace the valve cover gaskets. That's it. You know, nothing, nothing internal all just basic maintenance and preventative maintenance so uh yeah i like i said i adore this thing and i treat and i treat it accordingly so uh yeah take care guys thanks for watching